So th there are different reasons why a patient may need thyroid surgery. Thyroid is a gland which makes a hormone called thyroxine. So the first reason it could be is because it is a benign lesion. That means there's no cancer, but the gland is hyperactive, making a lot of excessive hormone. And the aim is to treat the symptoms, i.e. take the thyroid gland out. The second reason, it could be because the gland is again enlarged, it's benign. In medical simple terms, we call it a goiter. And this is to treat the symptoms associated with an enlarged gland, such as compression of your windpipe, affecting your breathing, affecting your swelling, or the lump and the size itself. And the third reason could be because the thyroid gland has a lump in it. This is suspicious of cancer or it's a proven cancer and the aim is to take out the thyroid gland so as to treat the thyroid cancer. So the benefits of the surgical procedure are to treat the symptoms and secondly, to treat the cancer if it's because of cancer. So some patients can complain of post-operative discomfort. This usually settles down by taking simple painkillers. But of course, there are associated risks with any surgical procedure. The incidence of these are low. It could be uh, because of damage to surrounding structures like the blood vessels, the nerves. If the nerve gets damaged, it can affect your voice. This is under 1%, i.e. less than 1 in 100% 1 in 100%, uh, of patients getting symptoms from it. Then you may require thyroxine supplements or calcium supplements. Some people may need uh, can get problems with scar, so scar tissue can be an issue, and rarely you can get com uh, complications such as fluid collections in the neck. Yes, the procedure is safe. It is associated with low risk, but what we have to remember is no surgical procedure is associated with a 0% risk. Now, comparative to other surgical procedures, the risks are low and the recovery is quick. So usually this procedure is done as a uh, overnight stay procedure, meaning you stay in overnight. The following day after the blood tests are checked, the drain is removed if some people get it and the stitch is removed, then you can go home. Most people come back to their routine activity in a few days time. Yes, the whole aim of the surgical procedure is to cure the disease process. Of course, depending on the disease process, you may need some extra treatments such as thyroxine supplements, you may need radio iodine, and then you will need routine follow-up so that you can keep an eye on things, especially if the surgical procedure was in relation to cancer surgery.